Either God here coming to you live and direct with another video. And this is just my a short my short analysis on school shooters and like children going missing, you know. And what I've come to the conclusion is that I think that the reason why so many children go missing is because they're being fed upon physically and spiritually and being used for situations like this to maintain the matrix. Example, um, who knows this Dylan Roof guy could have been a child that, that was abducted um, and programmed, right, at, at a young age. Who knows? And was trained um, in, in such a way that he would snap, right? And, and I think that these school shooters that go um, world viral or whatever, right? I think that they're being used to keep the matrix going. Um, and one way is to um, for them to get rid of um, guns so we can be, uh, how you want to say it? Uh, basically take back guns, you know, so people won't be able to, you know, be walking around with guns because they know that without guns, we'll be even more vulnerable, you know. Hell, we got guns now. We still ain't using them on the right enemy. So, instead, we killing each other. So, yeah, these children are being used to um for these school shootings, these mass school shootings, just to um cater to gun laws. You know, the more school shootings that that we have and the more trauma that they can um put on people or whatever, you know, have um parents mourning their children and stuff like that, the more um uh leverage on uh, the powers that be will be getting from um getting guns out of out of civilians' hands. So that's the best way that I can um uh, describe it, right? So yeah, um and then I also has Google searched how many children go missing and it says an estimated amount of 8 million children are reported missing each year around the world. I don't know how true that is. I don't know how accurate that is, but um I have a hunch on why they go missing because they're abducted by people like these. You know, these real monsters, aka masons. <laughs> they show like they literally showing you right here, bro. Monsters, masons, you got the eye, they always watching, they got the technology in the background, they on standby, they always looking for kids to feed on. This is a corporation, Monsters Inc., Monsters Incorporation. These are monsters that we're up against. And they look nothing like what you see in this image. You know, they just, you know, water it down and make it family friendly so kids can watch it. You know, so yeah, uh, also, y'all remember this guy, the Colorado mass shooter, probably another adopted kid that was programmed to snap at any given moment and you know, have people like her. I don't know if this a that's a real parent or if that's um, an actor, a crisis actor, but these school shooters are basically being used. To trigger people's emotions. I'm sure you'll go crazy too. If your child was murdered. By somebody like him. Who was abducted and programmed. See what I'm saying? Like it's so deep. And the more children that they can abduct and program. And turn into super soldiers. The longer they can. Uh, expand this illusion. That we're living in. You know. So that's pretty much. What I, what I wanted to uh, touch on. You know, children going missing, you know, be up against the monsters, the masons. And I'm sure it doesn't stop there, you know. The masons, they just puppets for the real uh, entities that we don't even see with the naked eye. See, the real war is um in the realms that we can't even physically get to, as far as I'm aware. So, yeah, I think I thought this video would be very... um. 
you know, informative. So, yeah, you see the child right there. You know, that's who they be looking for. You see the door right here. The doors represent the dimensions that they go into. And I think those yellow things are the, uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, the yellow things are the uh, adrenochrome catchers. What you know, when they get scared, that adrenochrome thing fills up and they feed off of it. And I, as of right now, me thinking, I think those also represent um, blood samples that they take from people. See how Mikey look? Look how he looking. Mikey, you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking a blood bath. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> Bro, this matrix hell, boy. People don't even see the subliminalism. Doors represent dimensions, people. When you each time you go in a door, that means you go that represents you going into another dimension. You know? And that's what I, I learned that from um Brother Sanchez. <clears throat> Plus it makes sense. It makes sense. Um doors in the physical world represents different dimensions in other realms. Because there's no physical door. In other dimensions, as far as I'm aware of. So, doors are literally the physical third dimensional version of portals. You open a door, you go through it. See? So, yeah, I hope this video helped y'all. You know, share this message. You know. Because we got to end this illusion, bro. We got to get out of this realm. We ain't meant to stay here forever. Spread this knowledge so the youth can wake up and realize and stop falling victim to these, these bunk-ass characters that we worship and watch and marvel when they ain't really shit. Like, yeah, bro. Either God signing out. See y'all next time. Peace.